Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, I had a chance to go out to visit Rad Power Bike Store in Berkeley, California. And uh, my sister had purchased a couple of bikes here from them. She bought two bikes from them, and uh, she bought one of them online as well. So she has three Rad bikes. I have the Rad Rover 5, and uh, so we're very familiar with Rad. But to be able to go to the store myself to actually see these bikes in person actually was a lot of fun. And so they showed us everything that they had. Uh, special thanks to uh, manager Manny R and also to Carl B who uh, took us out uh, for a test ride on the trike and also on the, uh, the new Rad Runner 3. So I'll talk a little bit about those. But um, I like the fact that everything was there at one place. Now I have not actually had a chance to go into any bike shop since I purchased my first e-bike, which was the Rad Rover 5. So this was actually the first time I've been in a bike store in a long time. <laughs> but uh, it was fun to see all the different bikes. They had everything from the Rad Wagons um, to the, uh, you know, the Rad Runners. Uh, the, the Rad Expand 5 was there. The Rad Trike was there. The Rad uh, Rover 6 Plus was there. So every one thing was there, including racks from uh, uh, Hollywood. My sister bought one of the Hollywood racks from them as well. <laughs> so, yeah, she, she's been to this store uh, many times, but first time for me. And so I called and asked for permission to record there. And uh, they, they contacted uh, corporate to get uh, approval, and I was approved to be able to do it. So, so thanks again to the management there, uh, allowing me to see what's there. Now, the interesting thing is, is that all the accessories that you want for your rad bike is there, uh, rear racks, um, storage uh, storage bags, uh, front racks. Um, they were having a garage sale going on as well, so they had up to 30% off on selected bikes. And uh, these are already built for you. Yeah, they take care of everything, so you don't have to worry about it. You just ride it out of the store. And so here's the um, the Rad uh, trike. This is the one that we really came to try out. My sister had an interest in it. I mean, she's already got three bikes. I don't know why she wants another, but uh, many of you have asked me to check out the Rad trike. now. Here's the one thing that we both noticed, I'm gonna mention real quickly here, is that if your ground is not level, let's say it's tilted downwards uh, to the left-hand side by, I don't know, five, 10 degrees, whatever it happens to be, um, you're gonna feel that because all three wheels are gonna go tilting to, the, to that side. So you feel like you're, you're about ready to fall off simply because you're, you're, you're tilted. I don't think anyone's ever actually mentioned that before, but that is the reality of riding a trike. And so she had some difficulties initially getting used to the fact that uh, it's kind of tilted to one side if, if your, your ground is not level. So anyway, uh, we both did ride. She had a little more difficulties than I did, but I felt the same way. I felt a little bit uh, like I was tilted. Um, on a regular bike, you don't have that problem, obviously. You, you kind of straighten out as you ride forward but not so on a trike. So I think that is the one thing that was a little bit different that I was not expecting. So anyway, they, uh, they took us out, they gave us uh, the chance to uh, check out the store and then we, we went out on the, on the road with the, with the bikes. And I think that was probably the most exciting part about the whole, whole trip is the, to try out the new stuff that was available. Anyway, um, all of the helmets that they sell are, are there as well. And they gave us a couple of helmets to put on. And uh, you'll see here, my sister will be uh, on one of the trikes and she's wearing a mask because she, uh, uh, she has uh, allergies. So that kind of helps a little bit on the allergy. My wife does the same thing too. She has allergies as well. So riding with the mask on is a little bit easier uh, for them. So here they are, they're checking out the, uh, the, tr the trike and they're adjusting it for her height, making sure that she's able to ride it. And then they did the same thing for me too when, when it was my turn uh, to check things out. But yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You see how she kind of stuck her legs out there. She was doing that a lot because again, like I said, uh, when, when the road is not perfectly level, you kind of feel like you're tilting a little bit and that does take some time to get used to. Overall, the ride was uh, uh, pretty much what I expected. I think the hard thing to get used to is that you have a coaster brake as well as a, uh, a front brake with the hand. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit of time to get used to these things. So, <laughs> here we are adjusting a little bit uh, for the bike that I'm going to be taking out, uh, the trike that I'll be taking out. And, of course, uh, being a taller guy, heavier guy, I had my seat uh, way up there. I am on the Rad Trike. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, this is the Rad Trike that we're on. I'm just holding a selfie stick this time. 
excuse me, the camera uh, audio from the GoPro. But yeah, so this is basically my experience so far with the, uh, the trike. My sister's here with me today and she is uh, also on a trike. Oops, sorry. She's also on a trike. So it gets a little, uh, takes a little time to get used to. It's not like your standard bike, that's for sure. And um, the brakes are different. I'm gonna switch hands here. <laughs> the brakes are different because um, there's a coaster brake and then the left hand brake is the, the, the thing that you wanna use. And of course the throttle's on the right hand side, but I'm holding the GoPro with the right hand side, so it's kind of hard to hold this and film myself at the same time. Let me go to a forward view here. I'll change my angle here a little bit. On your left. Just kind of recording a little bit to show you where I'm headed. I'm not going to go too far. I know my sister's not doing very well on the trike. She's kind of trying to get used to it. She doesn't really ride a regular bike that often either. She does have three red power bikes. So it's going to take her a little bit of time to kind of get used to that. But she says that she's having some difficulties with the trike, keeping it straight and light. So the trike is new for both of us, but. Um, totally new for her because she's not even on a bike that often <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna turn around I'm not gonna make her go all, all the way but anyway I just wanted to get a couple of uh, recordings of uh, me being on the trike so here I am uh, trying to trike out in a parking lot uh, uh, situation and um, that that worked out well for me um, this is not the area that rad typically um, does their um, their testing with the the, uh, the parking lot that's next to their shop um, had a lot of water flooding going on because, you know, San Francisco area has been hit with water like crazy this, this year. So um, we went down a little bit further and then uh, we found this other open area. So we tried it out here as well. And uh, just making the turns uh, kind of takes uh, a little bit of getting used to. It, it does feel a little bit different than riding a regular bike. As you know, I don't even like making U-turns with a regular bike, so doing the trike. Um, I think if you have a mobility issue uh, that makes it difficult for you to keep your balance in general, the trike will work out, but you do have to understand that it will take a little time to get used to even riding the trike. So, Thank you, sir. yeah, so now we switched over to the Rad Runner 3 Plus. Um, this, this is the uh, the bike that uh, Carl had with him, so he wanted me to try it, and I said, yeah, definitely I want to try it out. Uh, this is the new bike that has um, the semi-integrated uh, battery pack on the down tube, and then uh, they also have a battery that slides into the back of the rack, so you could actually have a double battery system, and they have full hydraulic brakes on these bikes now, and... Um, uh, the display screen is a little bit different than what I'm used to, so they have a double display screen. Overall, it, it rode pretty much like what I expected the Rad bike would ride like. I forgot to put my uh, my kickstand up too, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my sister yelled out, hey, you got your kickstand still down. So I, I had to stop and kick it back up. So, um, yeah, overall, I think uh, this bike is kind of nice. It, it's a utility type bike. You can carry a lot of things in the back. It's not as large as their typical cargo bike. But uh, yeah, if you need a little more space to carry things around, this this would make sense. Yeah. So he asked me how I thought the bike was, and I said, yeah, I like it. And uh, so anyways, he was going to head back to the shop and just leave us alone and let us ride as long as we wanted to ride. And uh, he asked me if uh, I wanted to take the uh, the Rad trike back. And I says, you take the trike, I'm taking the, <laughs> taking the Rad Runner 3 Plus. So... <laughs> So he had to ride the trike back while I, uh, I took his bike. <laughs> um, you can see outside here, they have a whole bunch of bikes for you to test out. So if you, if you live in the area or you're in the area to try, 
uh, some bikes, yeah, stop by the Rad Power Bike store. I think you'd be quite happy to at least uh, try some of the bikes uh, that they have available, and they're very helpful there. I had a good time as I was out there. So thank you again to Rad Power Bikes, and, and thank you to uh, Manny and Carl for helping us out.